So you want to make money on YouTube? Hmm. Well, there's three rules that you have to learn first. Take it from number one. The rule number one, I mean. You gotta have really cool, cl expensive clothing. 100% legit, you guys already know what it is. It didn't fit me, but I found someone who it fits better and he's gonna buy it straight cash, right? I mean, I don't know. I just, the ugliest hoodie I have seen in my entire life. Rule number two, you need a very expensive vehicle of transportation. Who would have ever thought three years after I graduated from high school, I would be going to pull up in a Lamborghini. How insane is that, guys? I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. And I'm also bringing this giant camera because I'm having my cousin record everyone's reaction as well. This is gonna be a dope video. And guys, smash that like button if you'd want me to come pick you up from school in a Lamborghini. How do you delete the like button? Is it possible? So you don't accidentally click on it. I mean, why else would anyone watch this mole rat looking twig? It's beyond me. <laughs> Rule number three. You need hella bitches. What are you gonna wish for? I wish for health, uh, happiness, and hella bitches. So if you wanna make it on YouTube and you don't have these three things, then just, just don't make me laugh. There, there is, however, one more answer. You can just be a Swedish cockboy that complains about literally everything and just shits on everyone. That, that seems to be working as well. <laughs> All right, here we go. So here's views, here's flexing, and here's here's how they increase. Look at that. Now, the other option that you have is to just shit on everyone else and get views by doing that as well. This is actually surprisingly accurate. <laughs> Today's video topic, as you may have guessed, is flexing on kids. Have I told you about this chair, by the way, guys? It seemed like internet fame these days, well, it's always been, to be honest, is... The, the goal that you want to have is to, how can you get an army of kids to watch you? Kids will buy your merch and they will click on literally any video, no matter what the quality is of it. One who controls the kids controls the universe. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. Do I sound bitter enough for you? Don't worry, we're just getting started. <laughs> if you want to be a vlogger on YouTube, especially, vloggers know more than anyone else that flexing equals views. It's just a scientific fact. I'm right about everything and I've never been wrong in my entire life. So I'm, I'm going to tweet out, is there a single popular vlog channel on YouTube that doesn't involve at least some level of flexing as part of their program? Send me. Prove me wrong. Casey. Casey Neistat. <laughs> $21,000 first class airplane seat. 18,000 a night hotel room. Moving on. Pro syndicate. Okay, let's have a look here. All right. Buying my granddad his dream car. Okay, all right. Uh, New Zealand in first class. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Russia in first class. Uh, okay, all right, okay, all right. Free razor swag. It's my house is finally done. New York first class. No, you're right. You guys were right. What is this? Mars bars vlogs. Well, now you you gotta be trolling with me. <laughs> oh my God, Peter Pie called me out. And why does he call me out? Listen, I'm sure these guys make great videos. I'm just trying to prove a point, and that is flexing equals views, no matter who you are. Um, David Dobrik? All right, okay, fine. Let's have a look. Our new house. Surprising my girlfriend with a Tesla. Uh, he's just kind of flexing on his girlfriend more than anything. Well, fine, it's the rule is still counting. See guys, there's no way I'm wrong about this. I've been right every single time in my life. Julian Solomita. Okay, fine, there's one exception to the rule, whatever. God damn it, Julian, I was trying to prove a point. Flexing equals views because kids like to watch it and go, wow, that's so cool, because kids are morons. If you're a kid watching, just know that you're an idiot and I don't like you. <laughs> Please buy my chair. When I was a kid, more than anything in the world, I wanted a Gibson guitar. So I would constantly go into guitar stores to either try them out or just look at them. That gave me enough joy to just uh, admire them. I don't even play guitar anymore. <laughs> Do you see, do you see where I'm getting at here? You, you think you want something, but you don't. 
vlogging on YouTube has essentially become the new window shopping and vloggers know this more than anything and this really goes beyond materialistic things it goes into uh, portraying oh look we're such a great family don't you wish you had such a great family to watch our vlogs what what we're divorced what what oh look at me and my girlfriend together we are so happy there's nothing bad in our relationship we broke up what look how happy i am in all of my videos all the time you could be happy too as long as you live my lifestyle what i'm depressed how did this happen it's almost like i portrayed an image that wasn't accurate to who i am and then they'll make a video even about their depression clickbaiting that as well how far does it go how low can you go with all these things is it all about showing off these days is that the only thing that matters all the time these days i you just see money in the title of videos it's pretty much everywhere let's see how low we can go let's look at the scum straight up going to the bank in this video pulling out five thousand dollars cash and i'm gonna be hiding it for you guys real money in your fucking hand shit's gonna get wild if you guys like this idea you guys want me to do this again smash that like button baby 300,000 likes so you don't accidentally click on it pretty pie called me out phase rug one thousand dollars baby donating one thousand to random twitch streamers these are quite popular these days Look at its face. Hope this made your night smiley face. Go get yourself a new capture card. <laughs> There's no freaking way. <laughs> yes, there is, Zony. This is a stolen concept from that Mr. Beast did. Uh, donating 10,000 to Fortnite streamer if they win. The thing about these videos is that if you donate just a thousand dollars, I know just a thousand, but if you get 1.5 million views on the video, you'll make that money back and more and you get more views on your other videos as well. So it's not, it's really not a big deal. And it's a great way if you like any form of likable personality and or original ideas to videos. Uh, it's a great way to just Flex on them kids, you know? And ever since Mr. Beast made the video of it and got millions and millions of views, the, the mole rat community just uh, swarmed across this idea and finally, finally there's a video idea I can make where I don't have to show my personality but I can just show off that I have a lot of money and thus making even more money. But now it's not just about clickbaiting kids to watch your expensive lifestyle. Now it's even gone so far that you can sell this idea that you can live my lifestyle if only you pay me $64. Fuck video! And this one? You may have heard of this, but Jake Paul uh, announced this sort of masterclass parody, copy, whatever, where you have to take a quiz to find out what kind of YouTuber you are or want to be. Uh, you enter your email and then you get to watch this video. <sighs> What is up guys? I'm Jake Paul and if you know me, you probably know all about Team 10 as well. And at the end of this video, I have a crazy new announcement about something I'm calling Team 1000. But guys, let me slow down a little bit because there wasn't always fancy cars and nice hotels. Listen up. That's right. I come from the bottom and if you want to be rich too, just pay us $64 and you can learn how I make YouTube videos. Would you like to own a home like this one, but can barely afford to pay your rent? My name is Jordan Belfort, and there is no secret to wealth creation. No matter who you are, no matter where you came from, you too can become financially independent. <laughs> independently! I am now financially independently. Oh. I'm the number one YouTuber and I'm gonna tell it honestly and, and, and straight as possible that the key to success is this. You have to buy my chair. It's $3.99 and if you, it's really comfortable. So you can become a great, fantastic, handsome, wonderful YouTuber like me by, all, by, by buying this chair. And also it can, yes, in fact do this. How about that guys? 
You're welcome, everyone. You're welcome. For someone that doesn't really get it, I don't get the whole flexing thing. Sure, if you want to buy expensive things and you want to feel proud of it and showing it off, is that illegal? Uh, of course not. There's no shame in that, but... That's not really what we're discussing here either, is it? This whole obsession with money and showing off wealth, it, it feels like I'm watching a bunch of Neanderthals in front of a shiny object going, oh, 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 wow, look at that. It's pathetic. It's low life. And don't buy into this idea. Stop buying into this idea. And I'm so sick of seeing it everywhere. In music industry, it, it, it's the thing that sells the most and every rapper ever that you listen to is all about just flexing and showing off that they mo have money. And it's so sickening and and I you just and I keep asking like where does the line draw where do people stop caring about money and actually care about some form of respect does that how high is that price for people because it seems like it's getting higher and higher and higher how much people just want wealth more than anything you had the rapper 21 savage who who built his brand around street cred but no he made a video with Jake Paul why 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 21 why you want a DJ? Yeah. You DJ? You know what? You want a DJ? I'm a DJ. <laughs> you always doing the music stuff. Apparently, 21 announced a couple, this is a couple months ago, but now he announced that he's no longer going to spend money on chains and he's no longer going to buy all these other things to show off wealth and he wants to start investing into property and stuff like that instead. 21 Savage no longer wears jewelry. Buying houses, investing in businesses, crypto and youth startups is what he want to make cool for young rappers to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 21 is back everybody. I was so glad to hear this because I hope at least this means that more people are waking up to the idea that it's not cool to idolize these fools, these idiots, these scumbags. Be smart about your wealth and stop clicking on videos that has money signs in the thumbnail, you dummy.